And it's Angus McCall, famous piper, a, a lot of famous pipers, but you're, you're uh, uh, up there at the top, Angus, and still on, on your game, and you had a second in the class, but... Aye, uh, second in the uh, Northern Meeting. The Northern yeah, Meeting, uh, and second in the Peabrook at the, the Glen Fiddle. Uh, Just, yep. that was last week, wasn't Just it? Just a fortnight ago, aye. Aye, uh, so uh, you're still in there fine. Well, hanging in. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Angus, I'm just going to take you very briefly back to uh, your roots sort of thing, you know. Mm -hmm. I understand you're born in the area, is that correct? Yeah, I was born in Oban here. Yes. Aye, and uh, so that was a few years ago now. <laughs> 50 years ago, Al. Aye, aye, aye. 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 And uh, who was your first teacher? When did you start fighting? I lost eye when I was eight. It was my father that taught me. Uh -huh. uh, was he I've a good player? He was a good player. He was a really good player. He was in there, Giles. What was uh, his name? Dougie McCall. Dougal uh, McCall. Uh -huh. He was a great player. He didn't compete a lot. Uh -huh. Just, just a lot of it was to do with, uh, you know, where he lived. He was from Durer, up near, you know, just up near Balahulish. Okay. Durer. So, uh -huh. uh, you know, it wasn't as easy in these days to get to competitions as it, you know, as it yeah. is now. Uh -huh. So uh, he didn't do a lot of competing, but he was a really strong player. Uh -huh. And uh, so he was my first teacher. And, uh -huh. uh, so did that keep you going for a few years? Oh, uh, aye, I mean... Did, did you have any other family play pipes? No, no, that no, day, just no, yourself? no, just myself and my father, I'm uh, sorry. And what about the, any grandparents or any of that? Uh, well, my grandfather didn't, his father didn't play, but mm -hmm. his father before that did. Because yeah, that was John McCall's brother, okay. Angus McCall. My great-grandfather was John McCall's brother, so... Uh -huh. So yeah, they all played these guys, but See, my grandfather yeah, was still. Mrs. John McCall, Clan McCall, uh, tunes like that. Yeah. In their relationship. Oh, aye, John, aye, yeah, that's my great grand uncle. Well, wrote all these picky, tunes. Tell me about a tune, Mrs. John McCall, for instance. Can't really tell you much about them. Aye, but the what, what is the origin of it? Who, who was that relation? It's well, it's his wife. Eh? It was written for his wife. So that, as is that your grandfather? Or great, great grand uncle. Great grand uncle. Uncle, mm -hmm. right. And who composed that? John, John McCall. There you go. Aye. And the uh, clan McCall. Same, same, same. Aye. Beautiful same, march. Aye. Yes, aye. I understand but, you've probably played these to probably great effect. Oh, I, I'm, I'm kind of, I, I, yeah, I always kind of lean towards a lot of his. Two Aye. fours, you know, just, just the because other I like them. Angus that uh, maybe would be famous, uh, like the. Uh, Our Delsh are gathering, uh -huh. John McFadge and Amelfort, uh, Jeannie amazing. Carruthers, uh, it's all the same, aye, same. Jeannie man. Carruthers as well. Aye, yeah, aye. aye. And um, they, they, they're quite different, a lot of the tunes. There's not just a sameness about them. Jeannie no, Carruthers is quite different. It's from quite different. Yeah, from, yeah, it is, aye. Aye. yeah, there's the same kind of patterns going on, though, you know, you can kind of tell, I think. Well, so, yeah. did you start in these two fours quite early? Yeah, in your yeah, I did, aye. Right. That's what I'm saying, I, I kind of leaned towards playing these tunes just because I'd heard them. My father always played aye. these tunes. He just heard them when you were wee and you just kind of knew them, you know. Now, you're quite renowned for playing the two four marches quite upbeat. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. You were for a while. Aye, aye. oh, I know, still. Hey, did, did, did that come from your father? Yep. Right? Yeah, aye. He didn't like slow you know, slow, That's careful steady. playing. He liked music right. and phrasing and that. stuff. Aye, he Ronnie Laurie was like that as well, wasn't yeah, he? Aye, yeah, And Ronnie taught you as well? I went to Ronnie for, uh, when I was, I don't know, 12, 13, sort of for Peabrook. Aye. For a few years. And, uh, yeah, main, mainly Peabrook, you know. But, but Ronnie, yeah. I remember him from the Glasgow Police Pipe Band. Aye. And they wanted all the 2-4 marches aye. and everything right up the back. Right up, aye, yeah. Uh, fast stuff, yep. the Canadian band does. Aye, well, that's the thing. <laughs> you know, that's just, just the way we were heard that we were aye. we were used to it, you aye, know. it's great, though. Yeah. yeah. It lends a bit of life to the whole thing, but yep. it's dangerous stuff. It can be, but, I mean, it, it brings out phrasing and music that... You, I feel you don't otherwise get if you're just, you know, just uh, plodding, plodding, you know, uh, kind of care, the kind of careful approach. I like to, I don't know, I like to hear the phrasing coming yeah. out. Hey. But, but the fingering's got, you know, the uh -huh. it's all got to be there if you, of you know, course. the danger is you, you know, you miss a lot of stuff. And but see when you're, uh, when you were learning these mm -hmm. tunes, I take it that you, you played them very slowly until you get... 
I guess so. Aye, I don't actually. It's a long time ago. Ah, you know, I, I don't know, remember, I but aye, I mean, well, okay. yeah, so you were to teaching be... these tunes to youngsters. Yeah, no. Oh, yeah. You, you were teaching Clan McCall, for yeah. instance. Yeah. How would you go uh, about that? Uh, you, taking your time, getting it clear, clean, making sure everything's in, and making sure you've got the control of the fingers to do it. And then the you know, tempo then you comes can, itself. The tempo, come, the tempo will come anyway. You know, ah. once you get familiar with a thing, you yeah. can you can speed it up if you want. You know, but ah. yeah, I, I mean, I'm very hard on the kids for slow and careful and yeah. clean and correct. Yes, the execution. Yeah. Absolutely, because once they once they get bad habits, that's some job down the line to fix that. So I've been listening to folk playing toddlers and crinoers mm -hmm. uh, recently. Mm -hmm. uh, teach and that sort of thing. It, mm -hmm. it brings it home to you the importance of a proper execution. Absolutely, yeah. How do you teach a, 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 a how do you teach a, a toddler and, and a crinkler? Just the same thing, just very, very slow. Very slow and correct and you know an even even rhythm. Aye. You know, uh, yeah. I remember myself learning Turlues and stuff. My father was always on about plenty of low G. He aye, well, big, heavy low G and not that's skimping just off. That's what I'm you trying know? to bring out, exactly. Aye. Because it's a low G it seems to have left out. Aye, you get too light. Snapping. Yeah, too light. No, not enough heavy low G. And aye. You'd sit and do them, you'd do them, do them, do them. And you'd go, that was a good one. And you, you didn't really know what you'd done, but aye, <laughs> okay. And then, you know, but it was just this heaviness on the low G aye, was the thing. Aye. Uh, I was reading uh, Jim McGilvery's uh, book aye. there on playing these movements aye. and he seems to go for the G grace note and the theme note and then down to low G followed by a very quick D uh -huh. and almost a pause when you're uh, and then the A and then the, aye, you know, aye. or the dre just yeah. a up yeah. you know, uh -huh. which uh, would be contrary to what you were taught uh, earlier where the, the D and the E grace note oh, come in then as a forgotten thing, uh -huh. almost the, the last thing is the F grace note, uh -huh. you know, yeah. whereas Jimmy's trying to teach the, the D, almost a, a slight pause, and then the E and uh -huh. the F grace notes, taking you up to the, uh -huh. the E again yeah. for the crown. Uh -huh. yeah. uh, um, I suppose it works for some folk. Yeah, just uh, yeah. yeah, different things work for different people, you know. But uh, well, maybe come back to the teaching again in a wee second. Did your father teach you Peabrook or did you? No, no, he didn't. He didn't. He played a few Peabrooks, but he didn't have a lot of knowledge on that. So he just, you know, he didn't want to. He wanted me to go to something. Didn't want to money. Ah, no, he didn't. So, like no, so I went to Big Ronnie for that. But that was a couple of years maybe, and then I went to Ronald Morrison. Done in Glasgow, so, so I, I I, Ronnie was Ronnie was, was brilliant. I, I sometimes wonder if I'd still be if I even had carried on playing Peter if it hadn't been for Ronald. He just had a great he, way. He, he, he was very very good at singing the tune over to you. Yeah, and that sort of thing. He just it just made sense, and he showed you different yeah. ways you could do it, and, and it was great. It was, it was great. Yeah, I had quite a few lessons from. Right, and, uh, and, yes. and I recorded them. Ah, right, Did you record your He's, He made me tapes. He ah. used to make up tapes and send them up to me. It's very and important. And right, absolutely brilliant. I've got one of the dogs barking or somebody knocking at the door ah, and right, he's right, laying right, off about right, that. It's great. Right, right. 